This is Tanara Karanov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, again, continuing on with Solo Joe, an 8-bit climbing adventure. Probably the only 8-bit climbing adventure. And we'll see what we can do while we try and figure out how in the world to learn the skills that we need to learn. A catastrophe of the highest order, 5.8. The six bolt route is technical and will test your balance. One moment, I need to minimize audacity. There we go. Uh, four bolts lead to the right. All right, a route finding may prove challenging as you balance your way through the crux. Okay, so catastrophe rock. So that's the first place. Okay, no, no, no. Trying to find the stuff we can actually do. Okay, okay. Yeah. In a hand basket. A catastrophe of the highest order. You'd think that would be a name that you'd reserve for a lot harder route, huh? One, two, three, four, five. Kind of an odd place for an anchor. Six. So six anchors. One, two, three, four, five, six. This stuff over here must be a whole different route. Looks like there would sometimes be something there, but there isn't this time, so... Same there. Some batons. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can do here. And we have the, the nice thin rope. Okay. Okay, I guess we have to go around on there. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, I think that's the last clip in. Nice. Talk less, climb more. Yeah, I'm trying to find skills so that I can climb more. Don't you people get this? Uh, there's some good ones at Celebration Rocks, it looks like. Sad Man's Tongue. What's up with all the tongues? Celebration Rocks. Sports Racer, grade 5 8. Okay. Ooh. Hey, free tread gear. Just what I'm looking for. 
Let's look up sports race here. Not much is known about this early route. It is no rumored there is a secret rest at a balancy crux, but this trad route gets neglected. Much like the climbing, little is known about the pros, so take a bit of everything just to make sure. Hmm. And we have indirect humanization over here. Oh, man. Sometimes it's hard to know what goes to what route. <laughs> okay. Okay. Take a couple big nut, like three or four big nuts, two or three smaller nuts. Eh, it looks like I need a camming device or two. Okay. Not sure if I need one of those. I guess I'll bring some bigger camming devices. Yeah, one more size, just to be sure. Ugh. Alright, here we go. Okay, what the heck? Ah, shit balls. What? Oh my lord, I tried to protect that. Come on. Bullshit. I was seriously trying to protect that route. Nothing was clipping in. What the fuck? Let me... Yeah, where's all the flashes? What kind of bullshit is that? Maybe a good route to try. How come I can't see any of the route? Guess I'll have to go for indirect humanization. Ugh. Still hard to tell what's supposed to be on what route. So it looks like this part might be part of a whole different route entirely or something. So this actually goes over here or something. I don't know. Really hard to tell sometimes, isn't it? This winding route takes medium to small gear and protects well, though not too extreme. The route is physical in nature, but also offers a couple of decent rests if you know where to look. Route finding can be tricky, yeah, no kidding. Jeez. Weird ass shit. Ugh. Oh. 
Guess I need the camming devices for that. Okay. Wish camming devices weren't so freaking expensive. Okay. Ah, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Clip in. Dude, sweet. I don't know what's up with that sports racer route, though. Ugh. I really don't know, because I wasn't able to protect that stuff. Not even this little narrow crack that should take a normal nut. Uh, this game sometimes. A celebration of mediocrity. This balancing route climbs left corner. This gear is thin and a bit tricky to place. First ascensionist Anna Trad Chica tra cruised her on site placing only one piece. Okay. I wonder if that would impress her doing her own route. Maybe teach me something new so I can do that. Seriously, how's I supposed to know I needed to have more whatever? Ugh, it's dumb. Okay, so this goes... Well, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> oh boy. Guess I'll bring a couple nuts and a couple cans. Mostly smaller stuff, I think. Let me see. I don't know. Oh boy. Camming device, okay. Did it on site. I wonder if my shoe rubber should be replaced, though. That looked like I needed to use it through there, and it was... A little worn. Yes. Oh, my. There's Death by Suburbia and Of Sand and Cows. I think Of Sand and Cows needs that. No... No hands rest, but let's have a look at Death by Suburbia. The 
still really need to know about these other skills, though. Ay, ay, ay. Because they seem really useful and required for some of the stuff I want to do. So what do I do? No, wait. Where was Death by Suburbia? Oh. I'm on the wrong wall. Of course. Durr. Now, where is it? Death by Suburbia. I don't know if I can go that way properly, and I don't want to risk it yet. I could place, I could potentially get some gear though, so hey. Couple of small nuts. Bigger nuts and some camming devices. This route climbs the left. Ah, alright, hey. Offers a moderate balancey section and a decent rest. However, the gear on this route is thin and can be a bit tricky to place. Most agree that the protection may very well be the route crux. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know what exactly I need to place. Well, actually, I don't think it's this. Doesn't look that wide. Or does it? Frick, I don't know. Okay, let's try this. I guess it is that. Okay. Oh boy. Clip into... Ah. That was scaring me. <laughs> On site. Yes. I approve of this. Ah. We were progressing so smoothly though, and now it's like I don't know where to get these skills that I need. So it's kind of like, yeah, like I don't know. Like I said, I, I feel like I need to find those carabiners or something. Like I need to grab those somehow. Uh, sorry if this is a little slow paced for part six, but just trying to figure out what to do here. I wonder about that technical part now that I doubt what the frick. Wrong gear. At least I've already done this wall, I guess. Okay, now let's Stop being stupid and actually climb this thing, huh?
Let's clip in up here first. I guess. Ah, jeez. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give me that carabiner. Yeah! Woo! Jeez! Swinging around. Jeez. Ah. Grabbed it, though. Nice. Let's just retrieve my quick draw. That was a quick... Oops. Should take the carabiner off my rack, but... Man, that was a freaking quick technical crux section, though. Ugh. Man. This is just three X's, isn't it? Yeah. Triple X, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, we got three aluminum carabiners. Two more to go, and we'll see what Mickey Beaner has to say. Yeah. I'm not quite sure where to find the find two more of them, but. <sighs> Gotta find them somewhere, right? We'll look around the walls. Because I have a feeling we need to do that, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. See what there is. And it says it's some kind of gear on the wall. Nothing on that piton this time. It's a gold beaner up there. I don't know, I think you have to dino to get that though, so, because we tried getting it before, so that's probably the loot on this wall. Yeah. I just have a feeling that that's what we need. That's the, that's the key to what we're trying to do here. We have to... Get Mickey Beaner his carabiners, I think. I think that's what we have to do, but I don't know. Hard to tell exactly. Oh, there's another Beaner that spawned there. And a quick draw, so... Yeah, time to... Go snag that. Okay. First of all, free quick draw. Second of all, carabiner. This is going to make me need to replace my shoe rubber, though. Give me that beaner. Give it to me. Yes. Woo. Yeah, I'm safe. Nothing to worry about. Four aluminum carabiners. Sweet. We just need one more. And I want to get my quick draw back, because... Yeah. I 
don't want to be leaving my quick draw on the cliff. My hard-earned equipment. Big no ah dick sauce. I hit Z instead of X. Gosh darn it. Okay. Come on, Uncle Bob. I climb this wall and get my stuff back. Left, right, Z. That rest hold is useless to us. Granted, I wouldn't technically lose a quick draw because there was already one on this wall, but I want my extra one, dang it. And why wouldn't I? Booyah! Let's see here. Electric Worry's got a quick draw on it. Ah, heck, let's snag that. Unsafe, unsafe, clip in. Ah, okay. Seems like... I find it kind of funny that the energy and the grip drain more when you're unsafe, making it even more likely you're going to die. It's like, you know, that's great, right? Hey. All the technical cruxes here. Okay. Okay. Got that. Got ourselves another quick draw for more monies and such. Which is always good. Right, right. And another attribute point. Sweet. Okay. Now, I just need to find another beaner somewhere. No gear on there, and besides, I wouldn't be able to climb it anyways. So good that whatever booties here isn't there. Okay. There's gotta be something. It says there's something. Now oh, that's a quick draw. I need Beaner. I need one more. That's it. That's all I need. Just one more. And the sound just cut out. And now it's back. Now it cut out. What the heck? What's going on with that? Hmm, there's all kinds of free quick draws on this wall. That's not even what I'm interested in right now. Why does, this, why does the sound of the background keep cutting out? It's weird. See, there's something there. 
But I don't know how to get the beaner that's there. If I could get it, that'd be nice. My head's throbbing. One moment, I need a drink. Got one more aluminum beaner. Well, I'd love to help you out and hopefully have you help me out, but... Wait, Pfft. fucking idiot. Okay. If only I could get over there like that. Ugh. Too bad I can't grab that carabiner like that, huh? Just swoop in and go ch But I can't. Uh. I don't know. Let's get a quick... Uh, let's get my quick draw back. Might as well see if a uh, route gives me the experience I need anyways. Man, I don't know how to get there, though. A dino skill would be nice to find stuff like that, but... Yeah. There's some other place I can go onto that wall. Room. Makes me wonder if I can get to it from there or something. Probably not. No. Dang it. Can't seem to do that. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Huh? Ugh. Just want a beaner. I'll have to look on the... I'll have to look on some other routes and see if any pop up, huh? Yeah. In the meantime, I'll complete this route and get my quick draws back, huh? Alright. Okay. Get to that. There we go. Well, I heard the little attribute point level up thing. So... Okay. Okay. <sighs> Oy. I just want to know what he gives me if I get the beaners. There's booty on these walls somewhere. Is there a beaner on a route I can climb? There is a beaner over there. Sweet. Let's see if we can grab that. 
Wait. That might be on this route, actually. Oof, yeah, afraid so. Ugh, I do not want to go on that route, for sure. There's a beaner there on that route, but I don't know how you get to that. Have I done the Phantom Hand yet? Yes, I have, so... No harm in looking over there, huh? Can I smear my way up to it? Yes. Yes, I can. Booyah. Am I even on the right path? Because seriously, I'm not even sure anymore. Ugh. Ooh, a gold beaner. Too bad I can't get my hands on that. It's a gold beaner and a death minus on whatever route that is. It's probably some bonus direction off of where I was just at. But hey, we got our five aluminum beaners. Sweet. Although I do wonder how you get to that. If it's even at all feasible for me to get to. It's made me curious. Okay, it's on a different route. It's on... Whatever route this is over here, probably something treacherously difficult or something. A pucker? Wait, really? Let me take a look at that again. Now oh, I probably have to dino over there. There's no holds there, so it'll probably... Yeah. But hey, let's go to the Sport Crag. Cause, hey, Mickey Beaner, where are you? Wait. Oh. Pfft. I'll give you a silver beaner for five aluminum beaners. Will you trade? Yes. I think I will. Now I got a silver beaner. Um, and then there was the rubber expert who was talking about silver beaners, so I might be able to help you if you had more silver carabiners. Uh, come on, don't do this to me. I ran all over the place getting those things. You're telling me I have to have more? Man, come on. It's people. I'm only gonna help you if you give me some stuff. That's great. I have plenty of money. Don't you guys want some of that? Something? How many of them do I have to have? Do I have to have five silver beaners or something? I have one. Well, let's see what we can do, I guess. Uh. Uh, 
do I do? Uncle Bob, don't you have any hints for me? Uh, talk to other climbers. I have been talking to other climbers. They're real helpful. Okay, what's the skanky eye? This route takes good gear. Chill climbing leads to a technical sequence. Traverse towards the area, then up to a short roof where powerful climbing protects the finish. Well, might as well do a new route. And looks like there could sometimes be a beaner up there, but no such luck. Probably couldn't get to it anyways. Okay. Don't think I need anything bigger than that on here. So, see what I can do on the, the skanky eye. It's such, just such a weird route name. Okay, got my protection in after a little bit of a struggle there. Okay. Okay. Ah! Damn it! Just trying to adjust myself there. What the hell? That was weird. Okay. Damn technical sequences. They just come right the fuck out of nowhere. Okay, let's clip into that cam and... Okay. Okie dokie. Okie doke. Okay, we just needed a big nut. Okie doke. We go up. And clip in. And shuts. Almost an on site. We are close. We'll fail that technical because out of nowhere. Ah, sweet. You've got points. Okay. Let's try to preview that. Hey, attribute point bonus. On that route, whatever that route is. You are not ready to know what I know. Well, fine, be that way then, jeez. Just trying to learn everything. One, two, three, four. And then there's maybe attribute points over here, since we've already done flummox. Wouldn't hurt to try and get some attribute points. Make ourselves a bit better, a bit faster. Whoever that is wants more silver carabiners for help, for helping us. Whatever that help may be, like... Oh, what the f No, I was slowing down. What was that bullshit? What the fuck? That was bullshit. I was slowing down. That was like a soft impact. Fucking bullshit.
<sighs> Shit. Okay. Okay, balancey crooksy. Chalk up and rest hold. Okay, another freaking technical. Really hate those things. Okay, let's go over here and get those attribute points. Chalk up. Come here, little attribute points. I want to use you. Yes! Attribute points. Now let's see if we can't clip in and just go back down and grab all our gear. Yeah! Sweet. Sweet! Five point nine plus. Awesome. Okay. Let's see about new routes to do. If any. Gym Rat Spray Lord is 5.9. Then we'll do have everything done on DeWalt and Bosch. But let's scout out the walls for gear, because it says there's something around here. It's probably that uh, Bolt's Beer and Grandpa's Hot Pepper Jelly Carabiner I can't get, though. Ugh. It says I need more silver beaners. I need more of them. So if I didn't have enough fetch quests in this game once in a while. Attribute points up there. However you get there. Let's see. No. Ow. It's a carabiner on there. But where's Jim Rat Spray Lord? I know it's around here somewhere. Ugh. Man. There it is. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's read. Lower section of this climb is thin if you get off route, so don't wander. The second half presents the technical challenge and your skills will get tested. There's no place to shake out, so keep moving. Oh boy. Said something about being technical here, so this is probably the technical crux, I'm assuming. Yep. Ah, fuck. Hit Z? Man, I'm a fucking idiot. Damn it. I failed that on site. Damn, damn, damn. Ugh. <sighs> Man. Uh, 
Man, if I had just done that, I would have sailed on up. Maybe. Oh, another technical. Yeah, okay. Well, I did the second technical crux just fine, so... Decent run. Mmm. It's about time to resole that rubber, though. It's wearing out. Hey, it's a new route done. And about all the routes I can do on the in this place for a little while. Jack's rocks. Let's see what we've got here. The web. Does anybody ever remember an old pinball series called Pro Pinball? Their their first pinball game in Pro Pinball was called The Web. That, that brings up so much memories for me. I mean. I think we only had the demo of Pro Pinball the Web, but it was the most awesome freaking looking pinball game ever. Uh, no other pinball game has ever looked that great since. Except for maybe Zen Pinball. Zen Pinball is pretty good. And Zen Pinball has a a pinball table about Nikolai Tesla. And that's just fucking awesome. It, like, fuck yes. A pinball table about Nikolai Tesla. Just... Awesome. I'd, I'd recommend getting Zen Pinball just for that. Just just because... Yeah, it's Nikolai Tesla. It's on a pinball table. It's just... Ah. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> okay, um... Tell me this doesn't sound weird when we're talking about your mom. The first route climbed at Jack's Rocks. This route is very similar to its neighbor to the left. Uh, this. It takes a variety of gear, but the route finding is simple and the technique is not earth-shattering either. That doesn't sound dirty at all after saying your mom. Yeah. So let's go there. Even though we already went there. <laughs> I'm terrible. Your mom. We got a beaner over there. I won't try getting that yet, but I might try nabbing it afterwards. I need some kind of camming device to protect that crack. A couple of smaller nuts. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. There's another beaner over there that I could try getting. Anyway, I'm getting distracted by beaners. Um... So I'm gonna want to take some smaller... some various sized nuts and some camming devices. Okay, let's do this. Let's do your mom. Wonder if there's any power cruxes on your mom. Okay. <sighs> Got my protection in there. Man, all this stuff sounds wrong when we're talking about your mom. Yep, there's a power crux in your mom. And a technical crux. I guess it does require some technique after all. Ugh. At least we have a rest hold on your mom. Stick some camming devices and nuts in there. And we got a balance crux in your mom. You got all kinds of cruxes in your mom. Just go for the shots. Yes! We did an on site of your mom. Yeah. So what's this route over here? Have we already done it? 
climb another day. 5.9 plus. Ugh. Man, these beaners on these hard routes. Ay, ay, ay. Why does there have to be beaners on the hard routes? Okay, let's try... Getting that beaner, maybe. Can't seem to go over that way, so... So let's try squeezing down the crack here and... Yeah, nabbed it. Awesome. So we did end up getting ourselves a beaner. Awesome. Jeez, man. Ah, Frank. Get to the rest hold, yes. Okay. Okay, cool. We grabbed ourselves another beaner. Another carabiner. That may or may not end up helping us. Okay. Let's get that beaner off our rack there and... Alright, we got one silver beaner and one aluminum beaner. I don't know how many silver beaners we need to get to... Uh, that rubber expert to help us out, but... You should go see Danger Dan at the River Wall. He can teach you valuable climbing techniques. If uh, Uncle Bob is telling me to do it, that means there's something there, so... For 1,000... Aw, oh, man. I'll teach you a new climbing technique. If $642... Dang. Man, a thousand dollars. I bet that new climbing technique is something really nice, though. Ugh. I want to buy one of the green carabine to camming devices though cuz seems like I need those I'm gonna have to try and find some booty around though cuz yeah because I need the money I need to save up the thousand dollars wonder if I can get up to a thousand dollars in like the next few minutes or something. See if we can find some booty to sell. That and climbing the routes gives you some cash anyway, so there's also that. Where is this booty that's on this wall? It's not on any of these routes. But Danger Dan is finally willing to teach us. Ooh. Carabiner there. Oh wait, that's the... Weird carabiner. We can't seem to get on that, isn't it? But if we could grab that beaner, that would also be a good thing. Let's... Wait, what am I doing? I've already done this route, so... Let's 
but let's see what I need. Canning devices of various kinds and some smaller nuts. Pretty sure I don't need big bros for any of this, so those are out, I think. <sighs> Can I go down this way and grab it? Yes, I can. Awesome. That's freaking cool. Alright, jeez. Oh, wait, I could just clip in. Cool, we got another carabiner. That's nice. It says there's still gear somewhere, though. There's still booty somewhere on this wall. And a cash bonus. I wonder if we could swing our way into that. I want to do some experimenting. That'd be quite a feat to get it swung into that. One, two, three. You certainly do have an impressive collection of climbing gear by now, don't we? Jeez. Okay. I'm just trying to see if I can swing into that cash bonus. I know that seems kind of dangerous, but, uh, here we go! Bonza! <laughs> hmm. Gonna take a little more experimenting than that, I guess. I know one of these camming devices has got to clip me into that crack. So... Let's experiment with crack swinging, I guess. Ooh, nice. I did predict it. Awesome. Okay, let's see how much distance it is between... That's quite a bit of distance. Big distance. Ah, shit. Uh, well, man, all that got me was, uh, dying. <laughs> How am I supposed to get that thing again? Man. Oh, that was dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. And probably time to resole my shoes. Yep. And I think I lost a perfectly good camming device, too. Uh, yeah, 
I'm gonna have to buy one of the blue ones now. Well, that's a setback, all because I'm just being stupid. Ah, thousand dollars is gonna have to wait, I guess. One new route. We'll see if there's one new route we can do. Besides sports racer, because apparently I need more. There. You know, let's do a sand and cows. It's low enough level that... I think I can do it. Right. The route crux comes near the end, so... Heck. Said so it's a 9 bolter, so... Man, I barely have enough. What does that say? Ugh. Didn't say what kind of crux it was, though. Guess we'll see. More cash bonuses just haunting me. Chalk up. Oh, power crux, okay. And that does it, I think. I just have to go over to the shuts. Eh, okay. Nice. Wow, that was tall. And five hundred eleven dollars. Man, uh, this skirt makes me angry as a dino, so can't do dynamic moves yet. A dynamic move is whenever you have no points of contact with the wall. So dynamic moves tend to be dangerous, and here it lets you do a jump, basically. So yeah. We'll go to Celebration Rocks and see what those two routes are about. Yeah, I need that thousand dollars to see Danger Dan and get his technique. Mother Tongue and Sad Man's Tongue. Sad Man's Tongue is lower grade, so... Seems like we can definitely use some smaller nuts to protect that route, for the most part. So let's see... Oh, looks like I have to go like that. Now let's put like five smaller nuts on there. A few slightly bigger nuts that I may end up using. I'm not sure what else I need to use though, so take some other camming devices and such with me. You can protect this route with nothing but a handful of RPs. Don't get suckered off route. Stay the course even if the climbing gets tough. So I find the physical nature of this climb, th climb thwarting, but it is not a difficult tick for the grade. I don't know what RPs stands for because I'm an idiot, I guess. There we go. Good thing I have points in physical, huh?
Just trying to figure out how to protect this climb. There we go. <sighs> oh gosh. Good on the rest point. <sighs> Okay, let's see what we can protect this with. I guess I might need a cannon device for this. There we go. I guess this is why you want to bring a variety of gear up, even if it weighs you up, it weighs you down. Ah, damn it! Dang it! Technical crux snuck up on me. Otherwise, I would have on-sighted that shit. Damn, I hate when that fucking shit happens. Oh, oh, technical, you fail because you didn't know that was coming. Damn you. Damn you to hell, you fuckers. Oh, pfft. I guess that works too. Okay, I've got a technical coming up here, that down. Okay. Okay. It's not an on-site, unfortunately, but 888 points. Uh, still give us a bit of cash, right? Uh, man. I'm gonna have to start scouting the walls for gear next Let's Play segment, but right now it's 3.45 in the morning, so I'm probably going to get going and get some sleep so that I can bring you some more broadcast excellence tomorrow. Or something like that. Something like, well, I'll be broadcasting anyway. <laughs> Alright, so... This is Tanara Kurinov signing off. Until next time, and hopefully we will save up enough to learn a new technique next time and climb us some really nice walls. See you on the flip side, or signing out, or whatever my catchphrase is. I don't know if I have one. See you later!